Hi, my name is Leah. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and a pelvic floor physical therapist who works for Pelvital, a medical technology company focused on women's health. We believe women should be empowered with information related to women's health and access to expert support. So today I'm gonna to spend a few minutes with you and we are gonna focus on demystifying the pelvic floor. So what is the pelvic floor? What role does it play in bladder leaks, specifically stress urinary incontinence? And most importantly, what you can do if you experience SUI. And the good news is you don't have to live with it. So let's get started. Most women don't know a lot about the pelvic floor and the important role it plays in continence, organ support, core stability, and even sexual function. So looking at the model here of our female pelvis, we can see the pelvic floor located here. It's a group of muscles that run from the pubic bone to the tip of the tailbone or the coccyx, and then from ischial tuberosity to ischial tuberosity, commonly referred to as our sit bones. So these muscles wrap around the urethra, the vagina, and the anus, and they sit like a hammock within the base of the pelvis. They're supporting our bladder, the uterus, and the rectum against the forces of gravity and intra-abdominal pressure. So the muscles in the connective tissue of our pelvic floor, they stretch back and forth as needed, much like a rubber band. So childbirth, repetitive exercise, the effects of aging, and many other scenarios play a role in that stretch and recoil of the pelvic floor. Now, when the muscles of the pelvic floor, they lose their normal tone and tension and elasticity, like a rubber band that has been overstretched or a droopy hammock many problems can occur. So now envision this hammock bulged downwards and asking it to have that same strength and recoil it had to begin with. It won't. Some of the common conditions that occur because of this loss of strength and tone are pelvic organ prolapse, bladder or fecal incontinence, and even lower back pain. We're gonna focus specifically on stress urinary incontinence or SUI. SUI is the unintentional loss of urine with physical activities or exertion, such as running, walking, coughing, laughing, or sneezing. SUI occurs when the tissues around the urethra get weak, so that'll include the bladder, uh, the urethra, and the urinary sphincter. Now, SUI may be common, but it is not normal. There are th three things I want you to know about the treatment for SUI. First, help is available. Because nearly 75% of women with urinary incontinence do not report it to their providers, seeking the help of a qualified healthcare professional is a good first step in the process of treating SUI. There are specialists like OBGYNs, urologists, urogynecologists, and even your primary care provider will provide you with various testing and treatment options. They may even refer you to a pelvic floor physical therapist. And the American College of Physicians recommends first-line treatment as pelvic floor muscle training in women with stress urinary incontinence. Second, there are some steps you can take at home to help ease bladder leaks. You can read about these in the articles section of our website, flighttherapy.com. Third, if you had SUI, you can consider our at-home treatment. So flight is a new treatment option to make your Kegel exercise 39 times better. Flight is FDA cleared, backed by rigorous clinical studies and uses an innovative technology called mechanotherapy in combination with Kegel exercises to provide you with an effective and safe treatment option for SUI. So how does this mechanotherapy help SUI? Remember the rubber bands and hammock I mentioned earlier? Now the flight wand itself provides a therapeutic pre-stretch on the tissues that stimulates the muscles to fire before you've contracted them. Now the pre-stretch of the wand in combination with the use of mechanical pulses for cellular changes and gains in strength and tone have been scientifically shown to improve stress urinary incontinence in women in as little as two to 12 weeks in just five minutes a day. 
and this unique treatment is not available in any other product. It is simple and easy to use. To read more about mechanotherapy and if flight is right for you, please go to our website, flighttherapy.com. And if you have questions, feel free to connect with me through our Ask a PT page on our website. Thanks for watching.